In Greek mythology, Medusa was a hideous monster who had snakes in place of hair. Gazers upon her face would turn to stone. Hey guys, the Pisces Painter here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created the fourth installment of my mythological paint series. I'm going to start off the sketch using Prismacolor Very Thin Color Pencils. The set I use is the 36 set. I wanted to shy away from all the beautiful ethereal myths and wanted to show something different on my channel, and I took that risk with this famous Gorgon. Next, I'm going to start Medusa's Temple using the Artist Loft watercolor palette and my Pentel Aquash brush pen. Now I'm going to color in the soldiers who were turned to stone. The unfortunate Greek myth about Medusa is one of tragedy and vengeance. Originally, Medusa was a priestess to Athena, and she was very beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that she got the attention of a god. This god was Poseidon. Now, Poseidon is so infatuated by Medusa that he came to her and, unfortunately, took advantage of her. It was because of that that Athena, which, keep in mind, this whole situation happened inside Athena's worship temple, cursed her to become a hideous creature who turned her gazers into stone. It's a little perplexing why Athena did this, but this is an art tutorial, not a mythology lesson. I decided to paint in Ionic pillars because I didn't think the Greek gods would be very nice to Medusa and grace her with nice fancy Corinthian pillars. I started this painting a little backward, at least for myself. I usually start with the person in focus, which would in this case be Medusa, uh, but I actually did her semi last uh, and focused on the background first. I didn't know what I wanted to add on her temple, but what better thing than some snakes? I'm just going to shade in the soldiers that were turned into stone, uh, focusing on their shadows uh, as if there was a light coming from the middle of the painting. I'm also going to add some detail to the center fire pit. I'm going to start Medusa with the Koi watercolor palette using this vibrant green. Growing up and learning about Medusa, uh, it was kind of crazy to think that a woman would have uh, snakes for hair, but I always thought of her as green. She will always be green in my book, and she's green here. I'm going to use a more olive green for the snakes on her head. 
Uh, and I'm actually going to use that same color to start the bushes in the background. Now I'm just connecting the background, drawing in the trees, filling in the foliage, making the whole painting tie together. I knew I wanted this scene to take place at night, so I don't know why I started with a lighter blue color. But I started to build up the color to a nice indigo blue that is reminiscent of the night sky. I'm going to start on the fire so I wanted to do this while it was still wet I usually don't mix colors while they're wet but I put on yellow and then I put on the dark orange right on top so it can kind of fuse together and give the illusion that it's actually real fire I'm going to go in with some Crayola color pencils. I actually really love Crayola color pencils. They're very creamy. Uh, they have a very opaque colors um, and I think they're actually really good. So I don't know why people don't like them. Next, I'm going to darken up the inside portion of Medusa's temple. This would be kind of like the entrance to her lair, if you will. Just gonna go back in there and darken up the background as well as the temple itself. Next I'm going to fill out these concrete slabs with some grass to kind of make it feel like it's not kept up with. Next I'm going to be filling in Medusa's bow and arrows and detailing her with some Prismacolor very thin color pencils. I know Medusa is supposed to be a hideous Gorgon, but I always pictured her as somewhat beautiful. She still happens to be a person. She just unfortunately became a snake. To better sell the idea that she's an ugly monster, I'm drawing in some scales. Next, I'm actually going to use a product I have never used before. This is the Artist Loft Soft Pastels. They're kind of like chalk. Uh, and what I'm doing is just highlighting every point in the drawing uh, to kind of make it seem like it's kind of reflecting the fire pit in the middle of the painting.
last but not least, I'm gonna focus on Medusa and make her a little more green and actually add more details to her face, finishing off her face with my Pentel graphic marker uh, and making her even more sinister looking. To finish off the painting, I'm using my Uniball Signo in white to highlight the points in her face and some of the other points in the painting. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys liked this painting. It turned out really cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and please subscribe and like for more. This has been the Pisces Painter. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.